Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Shisia Let's Play. We continue for episode 13 from turn 102 in the summer season of 220. So we left off with the battle over here, and in between episodes, I decked out the generals with items. Basically, commander chest, shaman item just to boost expertise for duels, duels, best weapon, best armor, and so forth. Pretty much all decked out. We're going to take on this force. Uh, Lady Mi's not actually going to join because she's outside the range, and also she will be the fifth army because there's a garrison. Uh, they're also on march. They don't have a siege weapon. I assume because it's summer season, uh, they shouldn't have the faction council event for instant siege. So after we take this against these three forces, we should have control of Rulan, and we might get siege, but if we do, help is on the way, and we should be fine. We don't have money anymore. I think we had over 150k at the end of last episode because I went ahead and rushed pretty much all the buildings that has to do with corruption reduction, which is why our income is ridiculous, 85k. And we pretty much have all the army slots filled out except for the two in the south. I'm not in a rush to do those because we're missing uh, strategists and also I'm not going to war against Kingdom of Wool anytime soon. So let's just deal with this and we'll have money flowing in every turn. There's no point to keep 150k and not use it. So let's get this fight going. It is not going to be easy. And looking at the forces, it's mostly militia, but there are some good units here. I don't know who's going to come in first, because reinforcement, you can only get about two stacks worth of units on the map at the same time. So we'll see who wants to come die first, and we'll set ourselves up and see if we can win this. I mean, this will be a huge moment if we wipe out three of the obey stacks here. We also swapped him first because not only do we give him the shaman item, he's also rank four. I believe the strategist is also rank four, but he doesn't have the shaman, so this will be the highest capture rate in case we get someone we like. Now this is one of our better armies. Um, two burn officers in the strategist and the commander. And I believe they're husband and wife as well. So. The enemy will have less ammo, we'll have as much as we can. Now, Azor Dragons, even with the two burn buff with such base, uh, with such low base ammo, they're just not going to have a lot. And that's okay. We're going to set up ourselves here in the back. Uh, not going to rush the attack on the settlement. We're going to let the reinforcement come in. I don't know if they're going to go inside or rush us outside. But regardless of what they do, we're going to set up here in the back and just wait for sort of the AI action first. Um, I think we're just gonna spread them out if the fighting gets up close. I mean, even if it gets up close, there's no point for us to be in mixed spear because I want as many of them shooting as possible and then when they collide and go into full melee, then just go into full melee. There's no point to keep a separate group in the back shooting. I have enough range support back here that we can target, you know, whatever enemy range unit, mainly those uh, E-Archers. Now, considering that we'll be fighting against E-Archers, we might back off a little bit more to somewhere like here. And then we'll just have these guys lined up. We'll have him shooting on the side for the close range stuff. Well, actually, his range is not too bad. And we'll have these kind of cover the flanks. They have plenty of cavalry units, most of them militia quality, but there's still plenty of cavalry units. So we're going to kind of put our guys on the side here. We're going to shoot them as they approach. Everyone needs to have firewheel on. Yeah, everyone's good. And we'll play around with the formation as the enemy approach. We're going to have these guys sit in the back. Also turn off firewheel. There'll be one. I think this will be fine. We have a couple generals here. Now, because they're so decked out with items, I think we can win the duels. He has a good little melee evasion boost. I can protect the army with the range block chance, and he can speed up how often we can use those moves. We're just going to wait to see what the enemy reinforcement uh, do. If they go inside, then we'll start attacking these three buildings. We can ignore this tower. These two will be relatively easy to take down. And then we pop a hole over here, and we just basically start fighting in melee. Um, we'll try to duel as many generals as we can, because I think we're favored. We have a very good pair of weapons, especially for dueling damage. Uh, attack rate on these dual weapons with a sentinel is quite high. Decent damage, good evasion that can be increased farther. 
and we can do it twice as fast with Inspiring Surge. So just kind of waiting to see what the AI does with their reinforcement. That's going to determine what we do here. Can't tell right now. Okay. Oh, they're outside. All right, they're coming to fight us then. We're going to shift him over. Uh, sadly, Zhang Fei is the only one who's willing to fight us from what we can see. I think we can handle him actually quite easily. 11% evasion on him. His weapon's not that great. And he has much lower health. He's injured, actually. So even though Vanguard has less health... Actually, similar health to a Sentinel. But um, we'll be totally fine. I'm going to drag him out to the side so after we finish the duel we can get back out. Not that far away from our formation. I think we'll stay here. Everyone's coming. I think the key is to kill these E archers. They're probably the only thing that can, you know, do a bit of damage to us. And of course, they're generals. Um, Mavan here. Anyone with Roar of the Beast is fine. If we see a Flame of the Phoenix, that's what's really going to hurt. Our morale is going to be fine. We can withstand any sort of Roar of Beast. I'm not going to waste any shots on the units. Maybe during this turn, just because. All the units will crowd, and we might get a couple of really good shots here. I want to fight Zhang Fei, but I want to fight outside the range of this. We're going to have to wait. He doesn't have the roar, does he? He does not. Okay, so that's going to be fine. Yeah, we might go for a shot here. Maybe we can go for this and just miss a couple shots, because we're shooting from pretty far away. And those misses can hit these as they make this turn here. I can see how they're crowding up right there. All right, we're going to aim for this. And we're just hoping for a few misses into that crowd. Yeah, get some value there. I think we can get ready. They're going to be charging us, actually, I think. Let me make sure they're on guard mode, because I'm going to be targeting individual units, and I don't want to... Alright, we'll stop, because we're not going to get some good shots here. Maybe a shot here? Seems dense enough. We have, what, 21 shots at the start? Alright, that's the last one, we're good. Hmm, sadly, some of this range overlaps. Alright, let's fight him. Anyone want to fight me? No. I'm going to do this. Yeah, to not only waste that first volley, but to force them out of that forest so that if they want to shoot some units who doesn't have that bonus, they have to walk up. Alright, we're going to target each one 1v1 and take out their E-Archers early. Make sure the cavalry can't... Oh, that's an easy kill. Maybe we're killing him too fast. Because then we're surrounded by cavalry. Oh, this is not good. We killed him a little bit too fast. No, don't fight. Don't fight. Get back on your horse. I don't have the mount command. He's going for the horse, I think. He needs to be on that side. Yeah, get on there, get on there, and get out. Alright, can we get any other fights? No? Alright. Let me turn this off, so if we're offered one, we can sort of pick it up. 10% uh, melee evasion boost. Maybe worth it? Maybe not? A lot of cavalrys on this side. We're gonna spread them out here. Alright. We're about to get into this. Actually, save your ammo. We might need this unit to be burning up the town later on, since we don't have fire on these guys. I don't see any flanking over here. Block. Shoot that. Uh, shoot any sort of melee, uh, not melee, shot cavalry we see. I don't want to overcommit anyone. 
There's a lot of cavalry units to the point where I kind of want to spread this out like this because they're going to be going for our range if they can. Can we finish this guy? That's the only guy shooting back. Keep boosting the melee evasion. We should win this handily with our unit quality. Alright, if they kill that, then we're shooting this side. No one wants to fight us. He has a flame. I actually want to kill him. I'm going to send my three generals out. We're going to dismount and try to kill him. Because I don't want him to slam any of my units. Now, these guys don't have fire arrows. Might as well use them to kill shock. Yeah, they can't really flank us. I can just double this up in case we lose this. I doubt we do. It can be a little bit tricky, but we just gotta hit him a couple times. I don't know if we can dismount. It would be faster, but... It would be very dangerous to do. Alright, make sure we just pick off these guys. A couple more coming. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, we're doing a good job on him. Should have waited a little bit longer to get us into that range. Oh, he's coming. Don't slam us. Don't slam us. Kill him. Alright, alright, alright. Just kill him. No. They took a beating. Everyone was doing great. Alright, we're going to put a unit here just in case. Uh, I'm going to tell them to stop. Feels like we weakened most of those shock cavalry. Throw the guys back over here. Yeah, that's one of the protector of heaven. Looks like there's a gap here. Just gonna put this guy here in case they get any ideas. Yeah, this is fine. Give these guys more of a boost. Alright, it's just the Archer Militia, but we'll get ready to shoot that down when they do get closer. Just take out any angle possible. And we'll sit tight here. Alright, fire back at the Archer Militia. They smoke screened. I mean, if they want to fire back, they're going to have to get out of that smoke screen. Fire over here. Also, don't chase. Boost that again. Are they going to come out? I don't know if we can flank. Are they trying to charge finally? Alright, they are. They're gonna die. Answer him. Where's that archer? Did they route when I wasn't looking? Alright, we killed that general. They have more reinforcements, so we're gonna be here for a while. Gonna put him here. They've been fighting for a long time. Ah, they're back. Block this in case the cavalry gets ideas. Yeah, we'll shut that down, no worries. Alright, he's leading the charge. We'll counter that. Does he not want to fight? He doesn't. 
He can just roar, it's not gonna be much. I'm gonna send him to the front. We don't need him in the back. That roar actually kind of weakened. This one's been in the action for a while. All right, they're done. Stop shooting. All right, I don't see much behind. We're gonna start attacking. Blank out. They might charge us. Finish this guy. Finish this guy. Push out. Blank. He wants to charge, we'll go take care of him. Boost. We can chase that. Did he get dismounted or did he get stuck? He got stuck, okay. All right, free them up over here. Kind of at the edge, but we're okay. Move them up closer to get a better shot at these targets. We cleared enough space. I know there's more coming, but at least most of the fighting here is done. In case we get into tower range, that should be okay. Yeah, infantry is in with their high morale takes forever to kill. Essentially unbreakable. They can go kill that. These two can come back. Collapse. Kill, 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 kill. Wipe those out. Alright, chase this one. Uh, maybe the tower's not worth it, we'll get back. Alright, this part is done. them back a little bit so I can put these guys in front of them. Mm, closer than I want. They're starting to go back inside, which means they don't think they can win anymore. And they're defending. Okay, it's our turn to attack. It's still 
a difficult road, but we should be okay. Let's get us into position. Break it. Now their archers are not going to have that many... Yeah, it's not much ammo on them. We have two burn officers, so... We're going to break the tower. And then we're going to march inside. We're going to burn all these down with our archers. Our oil arrows. I don't think anyone wants to fight us at this point. Yeah. Not much health on him. They still have some good units. The gates have been broken. Hmm. No rush. We'll do this properly. Can we get this killed? We still have ammo. Should be okay. Alright, this need to go down. We're leveling buildings in the back. I hope that doesn't mean it gets destroyed once we take it. It might. Alright, last thing. Can we get this destroyed? And then preferably a couple pieces of the wall. We might not get that. We'll be lucky if we get this done. Not, we are lucky. Alright, enough to get this wall taken out for sure. Let's see if we can widen that. Alright, no dueling. Yeah, we definitely can widen that. And then... Hard to deal with so many archers that they have. We might have to just tank it. It's mostly archers, no crossbowmen. There's one right there. Way in the back. Let's go. Charge. You three kill him. We will go in and shoot at the crossbowmen, I think. We outrange them. We soften them up. And then this guy goes in, burn down the town. Uh, everyone move in this. I can actually provide some help. Our strategist is a little low, but he's he's rank 4. He has resiliency. It's not the end of the world if he dies here. They actually don't have good abilities. We can just dismount here and kill quickly. Our, our units are streaming in. Tighten up and fight. Stay with our guys, stay with our guys. You two, charge them. We're, we're having a bit of difficulty getting into town, which is not surprising. Pathfinding is very bad. Where's the crossbow? Still approaching, no need to rush. Charge, charge, charge. Alright, get them in there. They're a little far. I don't really want to shoot that. Hmm. I'll shoot at the ones in the back. So I'm going to sneak these guys up. Alright, 
Bring him. Nice. Can we keep keep going? We need to break through this hole. Move him back. Charge. Fire back, fire back. Actually, you can fire. If we can bomb into any of the streets. It's a nice little fire starter. Yep, yep, yep. Fire deeper. Kill this. Kill this. Blank back. Alright, this is gonna break. He routes again. Alright, we got the fire started. That tower should go down. Kill that crossbow. They should be routing. I don't know why they can still fight on. These Z militias getting surrounded on both sides. Nah, so much smokescreen action. Alright, we're just gonna break this guy and chain route the rest, hopefully. Oh, they're throwing, throwing good units now. Can we get you closer? Wait, our strategist died? From what? Uh, he has resiliency. It's not the end of the world. But he wasn't... I, I don't think he was in danger. Alright, kill this please. And then, and then, can we throw a couple guys here? You two stall that. Alright, can we burn down this? They might need some help. Are we burning this? We are burning this, good. We need to move him up. I think army loss should kick in. I think we got this. Alright, don't overextend. No need to take any damage beyond what we have. There's still a full stack from Lady Me coming. Army loss, army loss, army loss. Ah, oh, beautiful. This was a big fight. Uh, we got raided pretty badly, mainly because ammo also counts kind of in the grading system, and we pretty much used up all our ammo.
But overall, casualty-wise, obviously, we did really well. We kept most of our men alive. Ooh, executions? I think so. I don't think we need to keep anyone. And they're going to give us plenty of good items here. Oh, grab... Just occupy. Like I said, I don't think any of them have siege weapons. We have a yellow turban forge, which helps with replenishment. That would be awesome. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, he didn't die. He just routed off the field? Like, magically? Because he has health. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Uh, we can do melee. we can do capture rate if we're really interested in capturing the rest of the general. I guess we can do that. Did she get two levels? She only got one. I decked everyone else. I like everything and all sorts of titles for everyone just to make sure we can win this fight. Okay, this changes a lot. Now they're obviously still in trouble because they peaked, and we have to kind of just run when they do attack us, and hopefully we retreat in the direction where we can get out of this. Uh, but once we get our other armies up, they're doomed. We got a little bit of cash. I rushed construction on pretty much all the state workshops we have. And that basically costs us 150k. But we got corruption. I mean, I rushed it all the way to max for most places. And we'll keep the rest and see. Did we deploy everyone we can? No, we didn't. We're still missing strategists across the board. I'm going to do another army here, which might overload the army in the south. Like, two armies here, all right? One here, one here. We already have... So that's four armies in the south. Plus whatever armies here that we can turn down, because there's going to be another army at least placed here for these two. So five armies to take out Kingdom of Wu. That's more than enough. I think what we need is actually to set up another army here in Pingyuan for the surprise attack against the Han. So... It's nice that we have this commander here, a uh, champion. And I don't know who we're pairing him with. I'm going to have to wait. We're missing at least two strategists, but with more kids coming of age every turn, should be fine. Yeah, should be fine. Let's see how this goes, right? This has a wall. They can't just siege us. And we have good replenishment now with the Yellow Turban Forge. Things looking really good for us. Right, they do the chase and then we run. Goodbye. Please run far, 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 far away. Uh, that's not very far. Uh, they're coming to try to save. There's, there's ambush right there. They didn't even go for this. Zhao Yun's place. Hmm, that ambush is going to be nasty, because I don't want to pop it. It's a full stack. Alright, please marry into uh, a Mary strategist. And where, where are you? Coming of age is difficult here. It's not you. They just, the line didn't get drawn. Who, who came of age? Where are you? There you are. There you are. Came with a lot of traits. Please be a strategist. Ah, uh, Vanguard's not terrible. That we can live with. I think everyone's merry right now. Yep, so still no strategist, but we can we can add him to the north. Now the small problem here is vanguards aren't great for sieging, but we can always dump our administrators on the field and those can be really good for sieging. Alright, he's stuck in our... He's stuck in our... Uh, what do you call it? Zone, uh, zone control. And there's Mr. Garrison, Mr. Garrison in front of him. We can drag both of them in. He retreated once. This is beautiful. So I go here. They attack. And this is just a delegate. Super clean. Both army... Oh, this one doesn't get wiped. Huang Zhong's army is wiped. 
We counterattack for their capital. Sufei, we'll take the weapon. Ganning's friend. I mean, I don't even think we've seen Ganning yet on the map. He's stuck in our territory with almost nothing. So we don't need to worry about that. This is our vassal's land. We can cross it anytime we want. Ah, oh, they took it before we took it. Mm, it's not anywhere close. This is our faction leader. We have everything we need for the faction leader. We stole the weapons. They needed it more. It's okay. We also stole the armor, but she still has a lot of authority. Yeah, this is okay. Uh, we'll give her like more authority stats. I guess we don't need to. Everyone's happy. We can work on her retinue, give them more foot speed. Or give them fire arrows? Yeah, give them fire arrows. More flexibility. And we'll just keep marching down towards these. That's easy victory. We finally landed, and we're gonna take Dayan. Making us neighbors with the capital of Kingdom of Wu. Now what we can try to do given that we're making 89k per turn. You see if he wants to sell me this piece of land, because he doesn't have a complete commandery, the price can't be that high on this. I can offer him a lot of stuff. Teach him how to be friends with everyone. Oh, he needs food. Oh my god, he is so food poor. Okay, uh, apparently this is enough. 15. He's never going to declare war on us. He has, like, no food. All right, that makes it very easy. We're going to move this army here towards the capital. We'll have one more army assisting them. This army is going to take key spots like that and that. I have one coming down south. Anyways. Right, we saw the ambush. We saw the ambush. She's gonna run. He's gonna run. I don't know if we can get into anyone's range. Okay, we can get the reinforcement. We're gonna wipe out this force. We'll do it, but I'm gonna hold on real quick. They're gonna get over here. They just landed, so that's why the movement's so slow this turn. Nobody. Lubei has six stack here. There's this full stack here that came with Zhao Yun. Three weakened stack trying to heal at Huainan. I wonder if I can pick this off. We'll still have 58% movement. He retreated once, and then we turn on her afterwards. I think that's the more logical play. We drag Zhang Fei's army in, so we wipe this too, but the dueling is going to be difficult, but we have all the good stuff, so this is the army to do it. Back to back fights with this. I wonder if he, is he Doti's son? I mean with the name it seems like, or he could be a random marriage, that could also be the case, but we'll check. But he he's carrying the day for us now. A wide open map, John Fei comes from over there. That's going to be where the dueling goes. We can have a pretty good fight here. Well, we probably don't need to micro very much. We'll pick the healthiest guys to be the front line here. Ready? 
Just back up for us a little bit. We don't need to do too much. We can't let the range units carry the day for this one. They're going to wait for the reinforcements. Probably going to run up and try to get a couple fights. John face full health this time. He wants to fight, but he's also not... He's not going to win. Zheng Jiang's also there. We have her weapon. John Fei wants to fight. Yeah. Let's go get him. Oh, can we kill the Stragis? They're slow. There's a tower here, but we, you know, block that. Wow, what happened? Rivalry trunk? Wow, surprised. Um, bad news? How did he chunk us so hard in the beginning? I th still think we can come back and win this, but... That was a very surprised chunk. Like sheer luck, charge damage, I guess. It's tr he probably knocked us off our horse with charge damage and maybe hit us with ability right after, which reduced our melee evasion and then hit us really, really hard. But I still think we're fine. All right, they have they have cavalry now. Run, 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 run. He wins, yeah. We still win that. Uh, can we still fight Zheng Jiang? Uh, we, we, we probably just route. <laughs> Alright, at least Zheng Fei's gone. Let's see if we can get him back. Decent trade. He's unbreakable. We will not bounce back. Yeah. I think we got hit with that first knock on the cavalry charge towards each other. And then after that, it was just... Um, he hit us with ability, we lost 50% melee evasion, and then we just couldn't do anything. I was just praising him for carrying the day. can't see us, which is why they're not charging up. Mm, we can do something like this. Lock it. And then move them up. They see us. Alright, we can just slide on over. Get ready to go. You guys are now two. They're four. Make them three. Join three. Man, they have a lot of smoke screens. They're not going to make it to our front. They're going to have the unbreakable and slightly high morale. But everything else is going to die on the charge. Especially now they can't shoot us back. Alright, we're going to switch target here. All of you fire here and here. Oh, now here. That one routed. And then we have the bomb arrows coming in very soon. Fire, fire, fire. All 
来吧，无友，继续上吧。若是仅凭三言两语便可免除刀兵，倒也罢。All right, they're all done. Plank out. It's over. There's a couple generals that will come back. What we will do is actually try to hit the generals with our siege weapons. Just to hit their morale a little bit, just to have them rout. And then for the unbreakable guy, we're gonna swarm him with units. If they're not unbreakable, we'll try to shoot them so they can rout. If you're unbreakable, we just swarm you with everything we have. Well, actually, you you guys stay. You guys stay. You guys are not done. Okay, I can dismount and fight you. I'll take you. You're unbreakable, anyways. Everyone else who's not unbreakable, we can try to break. Swords, go, go, go. I mean, dragon units can fight. Yeah, good luck swarming us. All right, we're good. Just gotta wait for the duel to finish. Zhang Jiang, do you recognize those axes? If he wasn't unbreakable, I would have fought Zhang Jiang. Oh, maybe maybe Zhang Jiang might not get away. There we go. Is that an arm? That is an arm. Underestimated Zhang Fei a little bit there. He died too easily last time. I think given the situation, it's going to be mass execution. And we'll take Zhang Fei's weapon off of him. He's 53. This is what, 220? This is about the time Zhang Fei dies historically. We didn't jump the gun here too much. She becomes unbreakable. Yes, I guess that would be good. We traded a bunch of these, uh, but we're actually out of these chests. We use them on them. Yeah, I actually want to. I'm curious. Uh, Liu Qi's line. She is Liu Qi's line. Uh, this re-adoption messed up so many things, can't really tell what's going on here. This is Liu Qi's line. They haven't come of age yet. Okay, so... Liu Ji's husband. Ah, because Liu Ji's original husband died, but Liu Ji was part of our family, and then he just married in. Okay, so he's not related. We're gonna go crush this. Um, I don't think we can delegate. I think we have to fight it. Should have given him some items. Uh, he has decent ones, not, not so bad. Uh, 
Oh, this episode is just non-stop action with Yobe's army. Just eating all of them up. He still has, what, one full stack in the back? Draw has two full stacks still left. I might counter ambush him with, ooh, fog. Um, our reinforcement's coming from here. I kind of want that group. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our trebuchets where the reinforcement's coming from. It's also high ground, so that's going to be good for us. And we're not going to worry about getting charged because the reinforcement should be faster than the enemy. He can sit tight. Alright, we are here. Your front line is here. Or, not yet. There we go. I can fight. Oh, we gotta hurry. I mean, they can hold their own against the generals. I'm not actually that worried. Let's kill Lady Me first. She's not that strong, but she has a lot of boost and she's also unbreakable, so the army loss wouldn't apply to her. Get her out of the picture here. Go to your original positions. Go, 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 go. This way we can give both sides the boost. He can be in the middle to speed up the rate the boost gets going. He'll go out and smash infantry that collides with our front line. We're starting to pound him, which I don't think we need to. I want this to be as slow as possible, but we're going to fight him afterwards, so it's not going to be a big deal. I just don't want to get swarmed by enemy units Ooh, shooting at us. Now we can fire. And we can maybe do a little bit of adjustment. Actually, they're firing. It's fine. I don't have to move them. Run. Yeah, bypassing this rock actually took a long time. Hit this, cover them, cover them. There might be some friendly fire, but let's see how fast we can go. They're supposed to go here. I can also help. This is actually a good place to pound them, but the rock actually forced a lot of them to squeeze through here. Alright, we'll start cutting them in the back. That's another easy win. I can just dash in here and just do a Flame the Phoenix smash.
that should buy them a lot of time. Let's go, go, go. New target. Turn around and fight. Charge. It's over. Actually, I don't want to fight that. It's going to be bomb. Alright. Easy win. Mm, I still think we execute everyone. This would be the only reach in the army. Either this for her own melee attack, or this. Only this first, because we also want fire arrows for her units. Gonna have him lead, so that we have more movement next turn. Gonna move him back a little. They can stay together. Uh, we're not gonna get fancy. They disappear somewhere over here. We're just gonna disappear wherever we stand. Block this road. If anyone wanna come, they can try. And they basically have two full stacks plus whatever is left. We have good replenishment here. Two stacks coming up. Uh, we'll upgrade that. We're gonna rush it. We basically just need corruption reduction right now. Everything else can wait. Let's move them. Over here. I think we just run full Azor Dragon, Doomstack, and then over here I actually do want Juggernauts. They solve a lot of problems, which we've been dealing with. Right, that needs to be upgraded for that. Uh, let's just rush that. You know, we have so much money. It's not a concern.
Okay, now we're short on money, which is normal. We'll be building more next turn. 88k coming in, so no big problems there. I think Adobe's actually had enough, but we're obviously not going to piece out. Oh, he doesn't have enough. Wow. He still think what he has can get it done? Now, we do have a very long food deal with him, but the moment we attack him, it's going to be targeting his capital, so... Yeah, that stack actually needs to be here. It's basically we'll just end the game in one swift turn, right? By the time these two armies get to here, we'll have at least two, maybe three armies here. And then we'll have two armies here and just instantly win one turn, destroying all sorts of treaties we have signed because we just don't care. Uh, it's getting closer. I mean, we. Need, I mean, he used to. He used to value us at forty point military strength. Now it's fifty. But we we kind of hit the top line limit, right? We have as many armies as we're allowed to have on the field. So if we want to get more, we have to remove some. Like, do we really need these guys over here? Maybe not. This is also close. Anyways, let's end turn here, see what they do. It'd be hilarious if Ma Tung's faction got the Emperor seat before we do. Alright, so they're forcing us into a fight. This is a good place to stop. Um, obviously, we're not favored by uh, what the game suggests, but... Um, I like our chances. This is our best general's very worn out army, but against what we're dealing with here... If we were forced to retreat, we could retreat into a really bad situation. Uh, Alright, I don't want to leave it hanging here, so I'm just going to retreat here. If they want to chase us again, they fight the other army, right? This army can also retreat. This one's healthier, so Jolene doesn't want to fight them one-on-one. -on -one. That unit pulls back. They're overstretched. We're still in Runan. They're screwed. It'd be funny if Matom becomes the Emperor and then... Uh, we can reject this. It's a very small faction, but there's no reason for us to do it. It's right, just, just a gate pass. It's really not worth it. We got a strategist coming of age. It's always good news. Did we get a good armor? Ah, decent silver armor. Sunyo's available, but we can't get him. Alright, so the ambush army's in the open now. They can advance. Dobe summoned himself. A very rash summon with no deployment. This oh, because we executed a general, perhaps? They had a chance to replace. Essentially, we double team. And the bad news is if I rush this, I think I can get him into... No, we can't get him to reinforcement, but we can basically force them back, surround Wu Shi, and just wipe them out there. They're going to chase, and we're going to get them because they're on march. They took that too. Oh my god, Ma Xiu. Kind of ticking me off, but then again, can we just buy this? I think we can just buy it. Yes, we can just buy both. We'll buy both. That will work out for us. We'll just march into that, buy both of the land, and then we'll take down Donghai. He's rebuilding here, so there's going to be another wave coming in. We're going to position both of our southern forces right next to Danyang. And then we're going to build up this force with the new strategist we just picked up, and then find them another army somehow. We're going to have to recall army somewhere to get that done. Perhaps this army can go, even though Masio's capital is here. Maybe this army can go. We can summon this army back north. We get an elephant in action in the north. Because I, I don't need to attack this if we're going for the capital. Yeah, we can triple down on the capital, redeploy them, buy both of those pieces of land, and we'll go from there. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to end the episode here. We'll come back. We'll wipe out Dobe's forces for good press our armies against the capital and just finish the game against all three in one go. And that would be it. Be the first time I ever ended the game with all three Emperor seats in one turn. And that would be exciting. So I hope you guys enjoy this one and see you all next time. Bye.